Hello there, welcome back. We're playing more Beyond the Beyond. And we're heading to the cave today. Here's a merchant. He doesn't have anything that we're really interested in buying right now. But it's there. Well, let's see, last time we had our introduction to the game. Let's see, I think I showed everything here. I didn't talk about formation though. Uh, I put Talik in the two spot. So as you can see, we have five spots for players to go in. Uh, eventually we will have five party members, which is a little rare for RPGs. Usually it's three or four. Uh, one, two, and three are front row, so the attack is normal, and the defense is, I think, normal. And then in the back row, your attack goes down, unless you're ranged, but the defense goes up. So usually you put your your ranged or your magic users in the back, and then your fighters in the front. Uh, I'm putting myself, Talek, in the two spot, just because it's in the middle. I don't know that it matters if you're one, two, or three. But I think uh, in battle it probably looks a little better if you're in the middle slot than on the side. While I'm blabbing on, this area here is the south of town. There's no enemies here at this point. After we finish the cave, then there will be enemies. Uh, you can see that the town is kind of blocking the pass here. If I exit the town from the north end, uh, you'll be on the north side here, but it's blocked off right now until we do that task given to us by Sir Galahad I think Sir Galahad uh, there's nothing else in the town which is why I didn't show anything else just people to talk to but not too important anyway into the cave let's get going and eventually we'll find our first battle here actually this is a set battle so yeah this me being in the two spot kind of puts me in the center of the screen. If I was in the one slot, I'd be kind of more off to the side. Anyway, battle is turn based like traditional RPGs. Well, most traditional RPGs. Um, when I attack, I kind of button mash. I don't know if you can hear it, but I just mash X because you can get a special attack with Steiner. Well, I can get it. Or I can do a counterattack. So, button mash on your attack and on your defense point. You can get counterattacks, you can get blocks, you can get double attacks, or special attacks. Not bad. Annie, what are you doing here? Oh, it's Annie. She's going to force herself to join our party, I guess. Well, that's fine. The more the merrier, right? Well, it looks like I'm saying no, I don't want you here. Hey, I'm not a sexist. Hmm. She's been trained to fight, she said. That's not a good idea. We better follow her. So right now, you know, I don't have any magic. I don't have any other party members. So it's just attacking. Battles can get a little tedious, like any RPG. Uh, later on in the LP, I'll probably be editing out a fair amount of the random encounters. I'm gonna need to heal here. We can go one more time. Come on, I want my Steiner attack, damn it. I'll risk another turn. Well, there we got a double attack. We'll get a Steiner attack eventually. Damn, no level up still.
<laughs> well, I'm going to run back to town real quick because I can rest there. And I'll meet you back here. And I'm back. I just went back to Annie's house there in, in the, the bed that I was in, on the second floor. You can rest there for free. And yeah, so we're good to continue on. I think in this opening sequence, there's no random encounters. There's only encounters like, as, well, in the spots that we've been in. Hopefully I get a level up here. Here we go, here's my Steiner and Talic Duel attack. And we get a level up, awesome. Cool. Now we should be able to handle the enemies a little easier. Next fight. Some more slimes. Oh no, they ambushed. That's not good. I might go rest after this fight too. Wow. After that I probably definitely will. Good, I can one-shot him. Counter? Nice. I think this is your turn back point. Once you go up that path up there, uh, you can't, I don't think you can turn back anymore. So this will be your last chance to go back and rest before you start needing to use the items that we have. Anyway, I'll go rest one more time and meet you back right here again. And we're back and let's get, a, get going. I guess now is as good a time as any. I've been kind of hinting about this whole uh, uh, traditional RPG theme. Um, this is, as I mentioned in my first video, my first encounter with a traditional RPG. Um, with that, I'm not really counting Mario RPG just because it's Mario. Um, not that it's a bad game. It's a really good game. It's just not really complicated. It's kind of a simple premise. You know, it maxes out at level 30. It's not... It's not quite traditional. We'll continue after this. What are... It's like... I'm not trying to hurt you. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I forgot. We were supposed to go to the right. She went to the left. That's probably not good. We'll, uh... Let's go to the right. Like we were supposed to. Well, there's nothing in this first screen. So just go down and around to the stairs. Small bat. Anyway, back on topic... Um, this was my first traditional RPG. As you can see, this is very Final Fantasy-esque. Very, uh, Dragon Warrior, Dragon Quest-like. But I didn't have any of those early versions as a child. I primarily played, like, Mario and Zelda. Oops. Oh, I need to use my flask. Use it. All right, we got the spirit water. We're good to go. Task complete. So anyway, I you know I did play Zelda as I was saying. Uh, I don't consider Zelda 2 to be an RPG. A lot of people do. I consider that to be a an adventure game with minor RPG elements. Nice. Level up. Hey, we learned fire. Level one. I think we've got two MP. Yeah, two MP so we can use that. VP's looking good. Let's 
So anyway, if you try to go uh, rest, we can't leave until we save any. Oops, there's an item here. Source of Wisdom. I think that's a stat increase item, and I'll save that for later. I think we can one-shot the slime. Nice. So yeah, this was my first encounter, and this came pretty much immediately before uh, Final Fantasy VII came out. So I experienced this, enjoyed it a lot. Um, it's As far as RPGs go, it's a pretty simple game. Not overly complicated. And it really was a, a great way to start, I, I guess. Had an interesting story. It was a little obscure, which sometimes that's a good way to go. And then, of course, when Final Fantasy VII came out, I was sold. So yeah, that's my whole traditional RPG spiel. I have a lot of nostalgia for this game here. I mean, after all, it opened the door to a whole world of gaming for me, so... That must be Annie. That doesn't sound good. That's gross. Yeah, we'll attack it. Oh, jeez. Oh, ouch. Oh, we can't reach it now. Come on, Steiner. That's not good. How can we rescue her? She's like way over there. Well, that'll do it for today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Next time we will try to figure out how to retrieve Annie's dead body. Because by now she's surely drowned. Anyway, have a good one. Thanks for watching, guys.